Brady. <laughs> so I'm here to talk about Expendio. This is a project that I've been working on for probably like the past three months. Um, so before we get started, I'll just go over some juvenile expungement 101 because you may not all know about juvenile justice issues very intimately. Um, so expungement <coughs> is a legal process that erases a juvenile record so that way employers can't like look it up when they're trying to decide whether or not they want to hire you. Um, and then juvenile expungement applies to arrests when people are under 18. And we focus on juvenile expungement because arrests under 18 are really easy to expunge. Or they're not easy to expunge, but like a lot of them are eligible to be expunged. Um, and then expungement, so these records aren't automatically erased when you turn 18, which a lot of people think, but that's a myth. Um, it actually requires a petition. So the burden is on the person with the record to go and apply to get the records expunged. And then expungement laws vary from state to state, so we just focus on Illinois. And so, yeah, juvenile expungement is not exactly the most glamorous project, or like the most glamorous topic, um, but it's really, really important. Um, because a lot of people are arrested every year. Um, last year, not last year, 2012 was 25,000 arrests. A lot of people. And the, the thing is that very few of these arrests are actually serious crimes. So, like, for example, probably half of arrests, they don't even like make it to court. They just get to the police station and they're like, oh, whatever, you can go. And then of the ones that make it to court, probably like half of them are just dismissed because they're not that serious. Um, and then even the ones where people are charged in court, most of those records can be expunged too. <clears throat> and then also, of course, most of these arrests are happening in Chicago's poor neighborhood, so that's kind of crappy. And then juvenile records can come back to hurt people in their future because it, it's kind of a barrier to employment and if you want to get like a professional license, get education, get housing. So, the thing that a lot of people don't know is that the vast majority of these records can be expunged. Um, with the most, most records not even making it to court and most records being dismissed, um, from, from the attorney that I've been working with, she says that it's safe to say that like over 90% of arrest records can be expunged. So that is a lot, and that's awesome. But very few people are actually taking advantage of this opportunity. Um, so this is the number of arrests in 2012, and then there were only 549 um, applications for expungement in 2012. And these numbers aren't like directly comparable because the expungement petitions in 2012 they're for like records from before 2012. But it's like assuming that the numbers are fairly constant from year to year, which is which is a safe assumption from looking at the numbers. And actually, there are some years where there are like 35,000 arrests. Like it, it gets pretty crazy. It's it's still a really really small percentage. So for example, like 549 over 25,000, it's like two percent. So that's crappy. <laughs> and. So when I was first learning about expungement, I went to Google, because that's what we do. Um, and these are like the first results. Um, here is a 25-page PDF um, from Cook County telling you all about expungement. It's not really a thrilling read. And then here is what the, the Illinois government website looks like. When you when you go there for expungement resources, so I'd say both of these resources are extremely informative in that they contain like all the information you would ever want to know about expungement, but it's definitely not user friendly because it doesn't package the information in a way where it's really easy for someone to understand the core message, which is like, oh my god, if you have a record, you can probably expunge it. So that's why we decided to make Expungio. 